hello guys and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you how to allow form submission or how to integrate form submission on your website using only html now this web page is actually on my local host as you can see here but it is going to work okay and we are not going to use any backend language like php or node or anything like that we are just going to use a service two services actually i'm going to show you two ways to integrate form submission or to allow form submission on your website okay so this is the html file a simple html file i have my container that is wrapping everything on the on the web page here and i have my form okay i have my h h1 here which is the contact form and i have my form which has these fields okay so the first one is the name which is a type of text and notice we have a name of name okay so this name here is going to allow us to know the field okay of the message that we are receiving and notice we have some a client side validation as well so we can send this form without entering valid um, details okay now we have the name section that is the first name which is this we have email and notice we are using the type of email that means we are using some client side validation here as well and we can only enter email okay we can only submit email and we have a select okay with options here which are the continents and we have a text area which is the message box notice here too we have a name of message okay so we are going to make sure we have the name for each of the fields that we have here and lastly we have this submit button right here okay so i have just some um, css here just to make sure our contact form looks good but this is not actually necessary okay this process or this procedure that i'm going to show you can work with only html all right so the first one that i'm going to show you is form submit all right so as i said i am using my local host okay but obviously this should work and it is going to work on your website on your live website as well so the first one we are going to use is form submit okay so let's head to form submit and this is the website for form submit right here and here the only thing we are going to do is to copy this okay we are going to copy this we are going to copy this action and then the method here we are going to copy and then paste it inside our form okay so we are going to paste that right here so we have our action this should be action which has this and then our email okay so we are going to paste our email here the email that we are going to receive um the messages from from our website we are going to paste or we are going to write our email here and then the method should be post okay the method should be post and this is actually all you need to receive messages from your website but the next thing we have to do for this to be valid is to activate our email okay so let's come back to form submit and then let's click email link and we are going to enter the email that we are going to use right here and this is my dummy email for tutorials all right so i'm going to click create email link make sure i'm not a robot stairs let's see after entering your email you are going to receive this verification message from form submit to activate your form so the first thing you are going to do is to activate your form obviously and after activation you are going to get this message right here you are going to get this message that your form is active okay so after verifying your email or activating your email you come back to the email that you received from the um, verification or activation email that you receive you come back to that and then you copy this okay you copy this code right here you copy that you can actually use 
your email okay so here right here we can put our email the email that we want to use we can put that right here okay we can actually do that and there is no problem with it but if you want to hide your email from your website okay you can paste the code from the verification or the activation mail that they sent you you can paste that code here and this is going to be used as your email okay so this is going to be used in place of your email so this is all you need to receive form submissions from your website this is all you need to receive receive form submissions from your website so let's go back to our form and then test this out let me refresh the page let me enter full name here i'm going to say john doe so this is going to be my gmail and i'm going to select europe and for the message let me see yeah, let me just copy this and then paste it in as my message and then i'm going to submit or i'm going to send the message all right let's click this and then and here you can see we have our form okay we have our form submitted all right so let's see this was our name okay this was our name we have our email this is the email that we entered we have the continent that we chose and we have the message itself okay so this was the message i copied from the other page as you um can see right here all right so that is how you can receive message from your website okay using form submit now the next one that i'm going to teach you is using form spree okay another service called form spree all right so to use form spree to use form spree for this you have to go to this website that is formspree.io that is their website and then you are going to click get started okay but i have an account already so i'm going to sign in and then i'm going to create a new form this is my dummy email and i'm going to name this form that is the name of my form let me call this project and then i'm going to create form all right so here all you have to do is to copy this okay all you have to do is to copy this but i want to allow google recapture okay so here in the settings you come down and then you can enable google recapture right here before you copy the link okay so you can enable google recapture by the way you are going to get a verification after creating your account you are going to get a verification in your email you verify and then you come back to do what i'm doing okay so you come to settings if you want to enable google recapture you enable that right here okay and then you go back to integration to copy this okay you go back to integration and then you copy this you copy this link and this is what you are going to paste in your action so you come back now we are using um form spray so we are going to delete that of form submit and then we are going to paste what we copied from form spray we are going to paste that and then our method here is going to remain post okay and with form spray this is all you need to receive messages from your contact form on your website okay so let's try that of form spray let's go back to the website or our form let's type in something here and then our continent let's select anything and then i'm just going to type in something random right here as the message let's submit and then we have to pass this google recapture um hills let's see
back to the website and right here we have our message from form spree okay we have our message from form spree this was the name this was the email that we used or that we typed in we have our continent and then we have our message okay now notice this message continent email and a name right here that is from the names that we set for the various fields that we have in our form okay so here this is the name message the name of this is continent this is email so that is just to make sure to know the field okay the different the various fields that the messages are coming from all right so that is how you receive messages from your contacts form on your website thanks for watching subscribe and i'll see you next time